monkey up the day. Damn, the hee haw again. <laughs> it's time for donkey of the day. <laughs> I am ain't trying to be donkey today no more. They should be embarrassed by what they already did. I I'm not making these people do these things. Called donkey of the day, and it really caught me off guard. Damn, Charlemagne, who got the donkey of the day today? Hello, who's this? Hey, it's Biggs from Southside. What's up, bro? Who you want to give donkey to? I want to give donkey of the day to the rich people that got in that submarine that, with that PlayStation remote control. <laughs> Why you want to give them donkey today, man? Because they got all the way to the bottom and look at the fucking top ten. Sorry, pardon me. They get oh, to look at the top ten. That PlayStation remote control died, and boy was down there telling them, "Don't panic." Now they they might lose their life. They paid two hundred thousand dollars to lose their life. Mm -hmm. They could have gave that to the, to the people in the hood. We could have helped them out with that. Mm. Nah, but I, I don't think he knew that the submarine was 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 ranky. I mean, like rickety janky of, like that. Of course, of course not. You know, but everybody seen the Titanic movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this ain't the Titanic. The Titanic was in the 1800s, man, or whatever it was. And this there's is... all types of theories that that movie wasn't even true. That's not even how that went down. It's all types of theories. Everybody died, didn't they? Except the one lady at the end who who uh, who who Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. ain't want to jump up on the icicle with. Yeah, she let him die, so I think she's alive still. Hello, who's this? Dax. Dax, who you want to get donkey to? The Breakfast Club. Why you want to give us a break? Why you want to give us donkey today? Well, uh, because you guys are mentioning the things that's going on in the uh, country right now that should be shining light on. All right, what are we what are we missing in the country right now? Well, first of all, you guys, okay, just hilarious. You there? You're a woman, and DJ Envy, you got girl kids, correct? Yes. Yep. I haven't heard anybody mention anything about the women's rights, the women's rights being taken, gender identity. My daughter can't go in the bathroom without a man walking behind her and it's okay. Like, these are the things that we need to be talking about in our community. No one knows about. Um, you know, we've had conversations. We actually <laughs> took topics about this and we let people call in. I can tell you probably don't listen to The Breakfast Club every day, but <laughs> we, we, we've discussed a lot of this, sir. Oh, uh, no, nah, I'm listening to it every day. I haven't heard anything about it. But if if that is so, can I ask you a question real quick? No, because it's donkey today, but go ahead. <laughs> so I can ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Thanks. What, how do you feel about the situation about girls having to share a bathroom with boys? Girls having to share bathrooms with what? Boys. With boys? With boys. Well, boys, uh, I don't think girls should have to share bathrooms with anybody. I think there should be a, yeah. a, a women's bathroom, a men's bathroom. Yeah. And there should be a family bathroom. There should be a, a, a trans bathroom. I, do, I think yeah, there should just be a, a, a bunch of different bathrooms. Absolutely. So everybody's happy. But that's, but that's not what's happening in our country right now. But Mo, I'm glad that you guys say that, but you don't hear any entertainers any celebrities or anybody saying anything about it and we've been hearing people say that for for a while like a long time hello who's this <laughs> yo what up my brother how are you how are you how are you i'm good I'm good <laughs> this is aman man from chicago aman what's Hi, up bro Amon. i'm already from nigeria so you know you might my diction might be a little off for you now we can hear All you right, clearly you know. loud and clear brother who you want to give okay, donkey my to? two my two donkeys for the day are biting son Mm, okay. and, and the second ducky is Corey Holcomb on behalf of Jesse Letty's. Thank you so much. I love you already. All right. For sure, I love you more. <laughs> Thank you, Amon. Hold on. Oh, damn. Damn, I yo. Somebody, yeah, I thought yeah. he was done. I thought he was done. <laughs> no, yo, he wanted to tell us why he was oh, giving I, it. I thought he was done. He was, <laughs> his diction was a little off. I wasn't sure. Hello, who's this? Good morning. This is Tiffany. Hey, hey Tiffany. Tiffany who you want to give donkey to Tiff? I want to give a donkey of the day to my job. I don't want to say what job, but, mm -hmm. you know, we was off Juneteenth. That was great. But the next day, which was yesterday, they broke this like slaves. How you do that? Damn. Damn, man. How you do that? Well, they gave you the day off, so they were going to make up for it somehow, some way, huh? <laughs> they sure did. They <laughs> sure did. Worked their ass off yesterday. All the black people worked their ass off yesterday. Where you mm -hmm. work at? I don't, all right. I work at the post office. <laughs> 
Oh, you work in the post hey, office. Uh, all right, I work in the post office. <laughs> She's so cute. Well, you have a you good know one, how mama. it is the day after the holiday. Yeah, because yeah. everybody comes to the post office today because they want their money. They want their checks. I'm telling you. But I appreciate what you do, Listen. girl. Thank you. No Thank you. No you problem. have a good one, Tiff. All right. You as well, thanks. All right. Donkey today, 800-585-1051. Charlemagne is out, so we allow you to give Donkey of the day to whoever you want. Now, when we come back, if you're having relationship issues, relationship problems, if there's something going on in your relationship, your household, just fix my mess. That's right. Jess will help you out with all your problems. Mm-hmm. 800-585-1051. Just fix my mess is up next. Phone lines are wide open. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.